right and wrong is everywhere. In the air, on your neighbor's face, under your skin. Congratulations. Thank you, dear. Didn't you once tell me that everything I have could be yours? <laughs> did you have any involvement with that claimant being contacted? When he finds out what I did, Mitchell's gonna get my job. Harry Price, uh, your old neighbor from Christopher Street. It's gonna get everything. Once you take a good look at the world and you start seeing the good and evil in things, it'll expand your outlook real fast. I'm willing. The rules have always been made by the ones who have the most to lose. You've been out there competing one way. Whoa! You can be better than them all. Well, last night, did you see anything? You're having some psychological problems. Whereas you are just a failure. And that burns in you, doesn't it, Nick? We are moving into a tricky area. Is that blood? You don't know why that knife is missing? The detectives are investigating the possibility that this policy was altered. And you're the only person who could have altered it, did you? You don't know what corrupt is. You're trying to change the game, but there's only one game, and we're both playing by the same rules. I know you, and you know me. So Primary is a, uh, it's kind of a hybrid kind of film. I describe it as, um, it's part uh, one half puzzle film and one half morality tale. Uh, the film follows a, ca a character named Nicholas Gray. He's uh, an insurance executive and he's having uh, a lot of uh, stresses at work and he ends up meeting another character played by Michael Eklund uh, named Harry and Harry suggests a different way of life that Nicholas uh, could go. Nicholas is played by Dustin Milligan and he goes down this path and basically st starts exploring um, the idea of, of a pure morality versus some of the choices that he's, he's forced to make at, uh, in his uh, insurance job. And uh, the timelines are split, so we'll see him in the future and we'll see him in the present. And it kind of cuts back and forth. And uh, the character study part of the movie is following um, those choices, both in the future and the present. And really, I think what the film ends up saying is, the, is that it's... Uh, more study of his character or nature that, that uh, comes through in the end. And why is it you're getting fired? Mitchell did something unethical. I fixed it anonymously. But now Carl suspects a whistleblower and he's reacting very hard. Uh, we're, a, we're a true blue independent film. It was shot in Vancouver in 20 days. Um, and all the sort of cliches about independent film apply. We raised the money ourselves. Uh, the crew worked. Uh, basically for free. The actors took huge pay cuts, uh, yet we were still able to attract a really talented cast and uh, a terrific crew that sort of really came together and they were there not for the money but for the, the script and for the experience and that, that really had a, a really great feel to it with the crew and same thing with the actors. <laughs> So we finished the film and we premiered just this past June at the Shanghai International Film Festival in China. Uh, August 28th, the North American premiere will be at the Montreal World Film Festival in uh, Montreal. And um, after that, it'll play the Cinefest Sudbury, make its way across Canada to the Edmonton International Film Festival in October. According to this policy, you stand to collect quite the chunk of money. Uh, it's very gratifying, you know, I think it's gratifying for, for everyone involved, the crew, um, you know, we had, we basically hired what I felt were really talented people from our DPs, uh, Graham and Nelson Talbot, uh, Dave McDonald was uh, my co-editor and also did uh, visual effects. We just found a lot of young people who hadn't done a feature yet, and, uh, but we knew they were talented and we brought them in and I think it's a, it's a testament to all those people uh, and, and, and to our amazing cast, um, led by Dustin Milligan, uh, Michael Eklund, and Catherine Isabel. 
uh, and also features uh, Andrew Francis and Tom Butler. And these are really strong actors and they just came together for a script that they believed in and I think we can all be proud of, um, of uh, how it turned out. As what was wrong has now been made right with the client? Another view is that Mitchell's actions were aimed at saving this company money. The same can't be said for whomever made that phone call, can it? <laughs>